First Heart Sound Introduction Heart sounds are the auditory manifestations of the heart's activity during its rhythmic contractions and the flow of blood through its chambers and vessels. When listening to the heart, two primary sounds are heard. The first sound, S1, often described as lub, and the second heart sound, S2, often described as dub. Heart sounds are an important aspect of physical examination for diagnosing cardiovascular conditions. S1 marks the closure of the mitral and tricuspid valves, while S2 corresponds to the closing of the aortic and pulmonic valves. Beyond S1 and S2, certain medical conditions may give rise to additional heart sounds. An abnormal third heart sound, S3, may be present in conditions like heart failure, indicating fluid overload in the heart. Likewise, an abnormal fourth heart sound, S4, may be observed in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, reflecting the stiffness of the ventricles. First heart sound, S1. The first heart sound, known as S1, is a significant acoustic event in the heart cycle caused by the closure of the mitral and tricuspid valves. It is heard distinctly with a stethoscope, typically as a low-pitched, brief sound that resonates best over the apex of the heart. S1 comprises two components. The first component, M1, results from the closure of the mitral valve, while the second component, T1, occurs when the tricuspid valve closes. Due to higher pressures on the left side of the heart, the M1 sound is more pronounced and radiates to various areas on the chest, with the apex being the loudest. On the other hand, the T1 sound is generally heard only at the left lower sternal border. The M1 sound is considered the primary component of S1 and is best perceived using the diaphragm of the stethoscope. Importantly, S1 coincides with the upstroke of the carotid pulse. And, on an electrocardiogram, it aligns with a QRS complex, signifying the initiation of ventricular contraction. Intensity of S1 The intensity of the first heart sound, S1, can be influenced by several crucial factors. Mitral valve position The degree to which the mitral valve is wide open or partially closed at the beginning of systole can impact the loudness of S1. Cardiac cycle length the duration of the cardiac cycle plays a role in determining the intensity of S1. Atrioventricular valve integrity. The mobility and structural integrity of the atrioventricular valves, including the mitral valve, can influence the strength of S1. Conditions such as fibrosis or commiseral fusion of the valve leaflets and tethering of the posterior mitral leaflet may affect S1. PR interval. The timing of atrial contraction, represented by the PR interval of an electrocardiogram concerning the onset of left ventricular contraction, can be a determinant of mitral valve position and consequently influence the intensity of S1. Force of ventricular systolic contraction The strength of the ventricular systolic contraction also contributes to the loudness of S1. Causes of first heart sound S1 abnormalities Abnormalities causing an increased intensity of the first heart sound can provide important clues about the underlying cardiovascular conditions. Let's explore these abnormalities. Atrioventricular valve obstruction. Mitral valve. Conditions like mitral stenosis and left atrial myxoma can lead to an augmented intensity of S1. Tricuspid valve. Abnormalities such as tricuspid stenosis and atrial myxoma in the right atrium can also cause an increased intensity of S1. Increased transvalvular flow. Mitral valve. Abnormalities like patent ductus arteriosus, ventricular septal defect, and atrial septal defect can result in higher blood flow across the mitral valve, leading to an intensified S1. Tricuspid valve. Similar to the mitral valve, certain conditions affecting the tricuspid valve can also increase transvalvular flow and consequently intensify S1. Forceful ventricular systole. Hyperkinetic heart syndrome, tachycardia, 
for example, during activities like exercise, and mitral valve prolapse, contributing to a louder S1. Short PR interval. Pre-excitation syndrome and lone ganong levine syndrome results in a short PR interval and increased transvalvular flow. Abnormalities causing a decreased intensity of the first heart sound, S1, can provide valuable clues to certain cardiac abnormalities. Conditions include Immobility of mitral valve Calcific mitral stenosis Lack of apposition of the mitral leaflets Rheumatic mitral regurgitation Presystolic semi-closure of the atrial ventricular valves Long PR interval Acute aortic regurgitation Significant aortic stenosis Dilated cardiomyopathy Conduction anomaly Left bundle branch block Abnormalities causing wide splitting of S1 can be indicative of various cardiac abnormalities affecting the timing of valve closure. Conditions include Conduction abnormalities Complete right bundle branch block, left ventricular pacing, pre-excitation syndrome, left ventricular connection, and Epstein's anomaly. Mechanical factors Tricuspid stenosis, atrial septal defect, and Epstein's anomaly. Abnormalities causing reverse splitting of S1 is a notable abnormality that may indicate specific cardiac conditions affecting the timing of valve closure. Arrhythmia, premature beats, right ventricular origin, mechanical factors, severe mitral stenosis and left atrial myxoma lead to altered S1 splitting. That's all for the video. We'll see you next time.